Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those that missed out at the FX Live Trading Conference, you missed out and you're gonna see in this video exactly what you missed out on. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe to this awesome channel if you want more free content. What we wanted to achieve at this event was to get traders under one roof and live trade together whilst we had unlimited as much as we could free content teaching individuals about the financial markets, money management, and risk profit factors and everything else in the event to get everyone together. Guys, at this event, we have some seriously talented speakers that will be talking to you about fundamentals, technicals, and everything else that you need to know to be a profitable trader. looking for buy opportunities. I'm going with the short term, long term view, if that makes sense, on a very basic scale. And as you can see, pretty much, when you think about that I'm trading on five and 15 minutes, I'm buying off of support zones, which is what Atish is gonna be talking about later. I'm, sort of, I'm buying off of these levels where the price has sold off if I'm buying. So a lot of these opportunities where you see this down day on this red pin bar here, probably would have been a nice little buy somewhere on the intraday scale. But as you can see, most days, if I was buying based off of just solely the long-term trend, we would have ended up profitable. This stuff comes from the mindset as well. So we have speakers that will be telling you how to improve your mindset and your emotional balance in the markets. And again, whilst we have these networking breaks, I'll be out there socializing with you guys, answering any questions that you've had and struggles in the financial markets with someone like myself that can relate to where you are because I've been there, done it, and got the t-shirt. Where's the pan? Do you think it'll be bad? Yeah. It'll be bad because assuming there's a breakthrough discovery on an oil alternative, uh, the price of oil should drop, which means the value of Canadian exports will also drop. So it's just looking at things like that, looking at different pairs of trading. <laughs> the economics out there will have heard of the term demand and supply, um, and that's fundamentally what causes you know currency pairs to move everything, um, the demand and the supply, and how that changes depending on what's going on in the markets. <laughs> 